Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're coming across a cannot find the script error on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving this without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go and jump right into it. And that will entail opening up the start menu. So just go left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now we're ready to begin here. So we're gonna go and double click on the HK local machine folder. So double click on that. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Same thing for Windows NT, so we're just going to scroll down a little bit here. And you want to double click on that. Do the same thing for the current version folder. And then finally there should be a win logon folder down here. So right here. Now on the right side you want to locate a user INIT value. So right here. Go ahead and double click on that. You want to have it as it appears on my screen here, so it should be whatever drive Windows installed on. So most people will be the C drive, followed by a colon, backslash Windows, backslash System32, backslash user, INIT.exe, and then a comma at the end. So the comma is important, do not forget that. There's no spaces in here. Again, you want to have it exactly as it appears on my screen here. And that's pretty much it. So just click on OK. And then you should be able to close out of the registry editor, and that should really be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.